Making a word look illuminated is kind of cool. To get this effect, you can draw an oval in PowerPoint and then make some formatting changes to make it look like the word is kind of glowing. So let's go ahead and do that. On the Insert tab, we're going to choose Shapes and then pick the Oval tool. And we'll draw an oval onto our slide. And it's okay to make it a little bit big at first. You can always resize and change the dimensions after you've formatted it. So the first thing we need to do is give it a fill. So on the Format tab, we're going to choose Shape Fill. And I like yellow, so we'll use yellow for this example. We want to get rid of the outline. So for Shape Outline, we'll choose No Outline. Now to get that kind of fuzziness around the edges, you can use this Shape Effects drop-down right here and choose Soft Edges. And it seems like around 10 or 25 point works pretty well. You can always use the Soft Edges options, which brings up another dialog where you can set the value exactly. But I think that you'll probably find 25 or 10 works pretty well. I like 25 in this example. Then we'll also want to give this a little bit of a transparency so it's not quite as stark of a color. I'm going to click in this little corner button right here in the Shape Styles menu on the Format tab. That's going to bring up this Format Shape dialog, and it's already on the Fill option. That's what we want. We're going to come down here to the Transparency slider and just pull that transparency back a little bit. And you can see on my slide how my shape is changing as I adjust the value here. But if you pull that back just a little bit, it looks a little more organic and like it's really, you know, like it's glowing. So 18% works pretty well for my blue background here. We'll go ahead and go with that. And now we want to size this and place it over the word that we want to emphasize. So I'm going to go ahead and just resize a little bit so that this looks like it's going to be making that word glow. And then the last thing is that we need to send this to the back so it's not covering up our text. So on the Format tab, we'll choose Send Backward and then Send to Back. Another thing you might want to try is applying an animation. Animations can make this effect look really nice. Usually a fade or a zoom works really well. So let's try that. On the Animations tab, I'm going to pull down our selections here and we'll choose Zoom for this example. And we won't mess around with the timing or anything. We'll just see how this looks. So we'll preview this slide and get a look at how this would look when it's published. There's our slide and then our glow kind of comes on screen in a zoom fashion. So that looks pretty good.